Hello everyone and welcome back to another fantastic YouTube video. Today we are addressing a common issue with the One Kingdell fanless mini PC, overheating and constant restarting. First off, we delve into the internals. We'll begin by removing the back cover, taking off the Wi-Fi antenna and then tackling those six troublesome screws holding everything together. Once we've got the back plate off, it is time for a throughout inspection of the motherboard for any signs of damage. Fortunately, the motherboard seems to be in a good shape, so we are proceeding with a disassembly. Removing the backside panel requires four screws and a careful disconnection of the wireless connectors. Now onto the motherboard itself, another set of four screws needs to be removed to free it from the chassis. Upon inspection, we notice that while the thermal paste is fresh, there is a bit too much of it. This excess can lead to overheat issue, so it is crucial to clean it off properly. Grabbing some isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and a keyboard vacuum cleaner, we meticulously clean the processor and the fanless CPU cooler block. It is essential to ensure a clean, even application of the thermal paste to prevent future problems. We move on to removing the RAM plates, PCE wireless adapter and the SSD memory plate, giving everything a throughout clean with a keyboard vacuum cleaner once again. After reassembling everything, including mounting back the RAMs, Wi-Fi adapter, SSD memory plate and the back side panel, we address the softer side of things. The owner had Windows 10 installed previously, which seemed exacerbate the overheating issue. After some research, we opted for a Windows 7 installation, which is lighter on a system resources and more suitable for the hardware specs of this specific model.
in conclusion, all components are functioning correctly. We've made a strategic adjustment by relocating the PCE wireless adapter to a cooler spot near to SSD, mitigating potential heat building up around the CPU. Before wrapping up, we double check that all connectors and adapters are securely in place. Finally, we fasten the six side screws of the bottom plate and it's time to deliver the good news to the owner. Their fanless mini PC is now running smoothly once again. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and share to your friends this awesome video. See you next time.